to talk of the town. She's the author of books like Hiss and Tell, Twisted Whiskers, and Think Like a Cat. Pam Johnson Bennett is the go-to cat whisperer around here when people need a feline behaviorist to smooth things out. It's great to have you with us. Thank you. We're going to talk today about being a new cat parent. Uh, for people who are thinking about getting a cat. We're going to try to put me out of business. That's right. what we're going to do. So that you don't have to come fix it right. afterwards, right? Right. Yeah, there are a lot of things that people don't think about before they decide to get a pet. And it starts right off the bat with getting the wrong cat. Mm -hmm. So how now, do you know what's the right cat for you? Well, think about what, what you have at home, what your what your family wants, what current pets you have. For example, you may love the look of a Persian cat, but if you have a really busy life, you're a soccer mom, you're going everywhere, you can't groom that cat every day, and you have to. Okay. So make sure it's the right cat for you. And you're, the right cat for your home. Right. You may you have a big heart, you want to rescue this cat that's been abused, but maybe you are not equipped to do all the emotional work that has to be done. Mm -hmm. And this is a 10, 15 year commitment, right? At least, yes, yeah. hopefully. Yeah, if, mm -hmm. if the cat's healthy. So yeah, you really need to think about it. Okay, um, some people think that cats are low maintenance. Most people think they're low maintenance. Isn't that weird? And it's really sad because they think if I really want to make a commitment to a pet I'm going to get a dog but I'm so busy so I'm just going to get a cat and when you view a living creature regardless of what it is a fish they're not low maintenance you have to make sure you meet their needs so if you just get a cat stick a litter box in the corner any old bargain scratching post and don't put any commitment and time into that relationship you're not going to get anything out of it yeah because it is a relationship yeah and you'll be disappointed and then the cat ends up taking that one-way trip to the shelter and that's that's really sad. Yeah. One thing that you find in your practice is that folks don't think cats need regular veterinary care. Right. Cats are the most popular pet in America, but yet they don't go to the veterinary clinic as often as dogs do. Mm. And ironically, a lot of the, the behavior problems I get called for have underlying medical problems. Wow. Like so they what? didn't need, for example, a cat may not use the litter box because he has a urinary tract infection, mm -hmm. or maybe he's being aggressive because he has hyperthyroidism. Mm -hmm. So no matter what, if you are convinced it's behavioral, make sure you go to the veterinarian first. Are cats trainable or are cat parents trainable? <laughs> cat parents, not everybody's trainable, <laughs> but yes, and that's another thing people think cats can't be trained, so they don't even bother. And then again, the cat gets that one way ticket to the shelter because they didn't bother training him to a scratching post. They didn't bother training him not to bite fingers or not to climb the curtains. They're very trainable, they're very smart, they're predators. You mm -hmm. can't be an efficient predator and be stupid. Right, right. Good point. You have a couple of events coming up where folks can meet you and learn more about being cat owners. Yes, I'm going to be at the farm at Natchez Trace, which is one of my favorite events to do. I'm going to do a lecture on cat behavior. So come, don't bring your cat, but come bring your cat questions. Okay. And I'll be there. I'll be signing books. And then I'll be with Nashville Cat Rescue September 13th at PetSmart at 100 Oaks. They've got great cats there that need adoption. And I'll be there to answer questions. Nice. So you can get started off on the right foot. And that's as a what new we want. Parent. I mean, mm -hmm. as much as I love having a great business, I w it's a relationship. I want you to start off right. So don't misunderstand the behaviors. You know, don't automatically assume a cat is spiteful or he's doing something deliberate deliberately because he's not. There's always a reason by, behind the behavior. And that's why you're always going to be a business. Pam, thanks. Thank you. Appreciate you being with us. Again, those events are coming up in September. We'll link you to Pam's website, catbehaviorassociates.com, for more details.